Hey there, Jim Gavigan. I'm about to show you a video from last night, which let's see, that would be September the 18th, 2021. And my son and I tag teamed what we're estimating between an 80 and 100 pound black tip shark uh, that we caught from the beach. You're probably wondering, you know, coming into this video, if you're, if you're not a fisherman, why the heck would you try to catch a shark? In this case, we actually weren't. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, we're in the middle of our annual mullet migration, uh, which for about two, three months, mullet, little small bait fish, come out of our estuaries, rivers, creeks, all that kind of stuff, come out of the inlets, mysteriously travel down south along our beaches. For what reason? Nobody really knows. Um, they think that once they hit South Florida, they get out to the Gulf Stream and then go um, reproduce out there. Uh, but they disappear and then somehow they we have a smaller migration not really along the beaches but you know they they kind of come in through like our inlets and things you know some in the spring and by the summer you know we're pretty full in in inshore like in the estuaries and flats and things like that we're full of mullet whereas we're not so much in the winter time nobody really knows why they do that but uh, they do and basically it's a swimming buffet line for everything that feeds on them, which is pretty much everything. Uh, bluefish, ladyfish, jack crevel, redfish, speckled trout, um, Spanish mackerel, ladyfish, you, you name all different kinds of species of shark will come in and feed on those that I just you know rattled off or they'll feed on the mullet. Tarpon is another one. Uh, we put 125 pound tarpon on the beach. There's actually a video if you search my channel, we caught a tarpon last year, 100, about 125 pounds off the beach. Not far from where we caught this one last night. But uh, some days we actually do target them. I actually have a shark rig. I have a, a rod specifically geared at, you know, catching sharks with a big hook, steel leader, 300 pound test line for about six, seven feet. And we put a chunk of whatever we've caught out there to catch them. So why would we do that? Well, in most cases, that's about the biggest thing we can consistently catch from the shore. You know, unless you have a boat and get offshore or you, you get in certain spots around bridges and passes and things like that, you're not going to really catch 100-pound tarpon or 50-pound redfish or things like that. So this gives us something to target when we're standing on the, on the beach or on land that we can target something rather large and catch them relatively consistently. So they're a little dangerous to handle, as you'll see. This one almost took my head off, or the line almost took my head off. Uh, it actually spun, you'll see in the pictures. I'm trying to like flex my muscles. I've been working out a little bit, so I've been trying to like flex my muscles. And you know, look at me, I've been working out, and you know, we caught this big fish here. And that sucker turned on me, and uh, I had to jump up from there right after that picture. But uh, it was, uh, you have to be a little careful with them, for sure. They have teeth, and they're not afraid to use them. But uh, they're a lot of fun to catch. They're strong. You know, they fight really hard, especially at the beginning. But what we try to do is get them in as quick as possible, not keep them on land very long. And as a matter of fact, we have to actually do a shore based shark fishing permit that we have to do through FWC to actually get our fishing license. So what ends up happening is we, we actually have to do some training because there are certain species of sharks we cannot bring on land. If you happen to catch one, you have to get out in the water with it. Like I did here, except you've got to get the hook out in the water. They cannot come on the land at all. Um, you know, like the hammerheads and I think bull sharks are, which <laughs> I want no part of a bull shark. That mean is I'll, I'll get out. But uh, I don't want any part of a, you know, 10, 15 foot hammerhead either. You know, I, I really don't want to go climbing in the water to try to unhook the thing or, or get bolt cutters and cut the hook you know, so it can swim away. Um, no interest, but we actually have to go do training on it. And um, I have a tremendous respect for them. As you see at the end, I, I, would, I get really fired up when I see them swim away. So we try to get them in quick, you know, get the hook out, let if people, oftentimes we have tourists, you know, coming by and they're all freaked out and, and in awe at the same time. Let them take a few pictures and I tell them, hey, I'm getting this shark back in the water as quick as possible. I have tremendous respect for this thing, and we are going to take care of our, our, uh, our fishing here. That is something I'm a huge believer in. We know the regulations, and we, we really try to adhere to them and educate people on them when we see people not doing the right things. 
anyway i hope you enjoy the video wanted to give a little background because there are probably some people that are going to watch this video and are like why the heck are you doing this now you know thanks so what do you think you gonna get this one yeah. huh and look at the sky gorgeous out here tonight he's got a shark on Here. Yeah, it's a shark. Yeah, we saw it. We saw it thrash on top. You can tell by how it fights, too. Big head shakes. Your rods start shaking. You know it's a shark. We put a big tarpon on the beach last year. Man, look at that sky. Yeah, he's definitely gonna be sore. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and keep recording him. I'm gonna get the uh, thing. See if I can get a shot of him. It's like maybe a four to five footer, maybe. Hard to tell. See if he'll swim this way. He won't. Just keeps going. Oh yeah, he's swimming away. See him on top there. Maybe we can get him in now. Or maybe the one we had hooked the other day. Oh, there he is. Walk, walk. Huh? 
Yeah. My hip. You got it. Yeah, they just keep running down the beach. Can you record? Can you record? Can you record? I'm gonna take pictures. 